Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about something very quickly that just happened on FIFA Ultimate Team. Chemistry style price ranges. Yes, you're hearing at that correctly. The Shadow and the Hunter chemistry style on this game are now at a higher price range. They just got a 25K upped price range. They were at 5,000 coins. Now their price range is up to a 25K max uh, and people are flooding the market with these cards as we speak because obviously uh, these cards are not worth 25k right now it looks like they're selling for around 13,000 so they are trickling their way down they were selling right at 20k right at 25 now they're kind of trickling their way down uh, so I want to talk about what this means for the market because a lot of the stuff that we've been doing on this game is regarding chem style trading because a lot of the cards since chemistry styles like the Shadow and the Hunter were hard to purchase because they were extinct basically uh, on the market. Now they're not going to be extinct. So I want to talk about some of the stuff that I could see with this uh, with this price update, which is honestly insane. I don't think there's ever been a... It, remind me if I'm incorrect, but I can't remember any FIFA where there's been a price update for chemistry style cards chemistry style cards getting a price update honestly mental insane ridiculous hunters and shadows though are the only ones that got it i think i went through most of them and checked at least the ones that were expensive and those did get a price range update so i want to talk i want to look at the tweet first this is a tweet by nepenthes he just tweeted this and i think he makes a really good point here because EA definitely did the EA thing on this uh, price range update with these cards. He says, and I quote, instead of increasing the drop rate of Shadow and Hunter cards, making a chem style more accessible to everyone, EA instead increased the price range to 25,000 coins. And he has a perfect point here because basically what EA is doing is they're saying, hey, okay, people want to buy these chem styles, so we're going to take more coins away from them doing that, which in turn makes us more money because then they have to go spend FIFA points to go get more coins after they spend more for this chemistry style card. Because basically when you think of a chemistry style card, it's basically sort of an untradeable because when you buy it it's tradable but then you place it on a player and you can't get it back off it's on that player for good so then you have to go sell that player which that player might be you know sell for a little bit more with a hunter or with the shadow on it than it would normally but it's technically almost making that card untradeable because you're not you can't actually sell that card at the full price by on its own because you're attaching it to another one so you're you're losing a lot of coins if you're buying these hunter chem styles which is it's honestly ridiculous that they did it this way and i think nepenthe has a great point because all they had to do in years past these hunter chem styles yes they would get extinct yes they would get rare but they would get packed throughout the year and either maybe ea was adjusting the pack weight in years past and we never knew or they were just continued to get packed, so their price eventually dropped down from where it was extinct. But right now, these cards are looking like the Hunters right around 10,000 coins as people are seeing this news and, of course, going out and flooding the market. So this is going to happen, obviously, for the first couple hours. You're going to see people flooding the market with these cards, going into their clubs and wanting to sell them. But that also is going to kind of bite itself back. It, that's what happens when a price range update happens on FIFA. You have that price getting updated to 25k range in this terms of shadows. It's going to drop back down. It's going to go lower than what it will eventually medium out. It's going to go low with all the panic selling and all the selling. Then it'll rise back up. I do expect the shadow card to be a little bit more expensive than the, than the hunter card. And I expect the shadow card to land somewhere around like the 10,000 coin range outside of a promo, uh, at least at this time of the year. Obviously, as we go on through FIFA, more and more and more of these cards are going to get packed. And as you see in objectives and stuff, they keep putting these cards in objectives. So people are going to be able to get Shadows and Hunters through objectives as well. But this is honestly just crazy that they did this. And I want to talk about chem style trading in relation to these Shadows and these Hunter cards because the chemistry style trading is something that we have done a ton of this year. Um, and it kind of, this might change that a little bit. I want to kind of put my thoughts on that. Um, since now they, the reason why the chem style trading worked really well was because those cards were extinct, right? So Alex Tellez, perfect example. Um, his inform card, but on its own, what does it sell for? On its own, the Tellez inform should be right around like 160 or 150 K. It's a little bit over 150 K looks like 150 
160. All right, so he's 160,000 coins with a chemistry style attach. 160. Without a chem style. Without a shadow, at least. If we go back here, of course, it resets my filter. We go Telez. Alex Telez special. Chemistry style. Shadow. His price with a shadow is 170,000 coins. So he is 10,000 coins more with a shadow, which is basically kind of concurrent with the price right now. With the price of the shadow chem style being right around like 11, 12K, his card is about 10K more with the shadow chem style applied. I don't know. It's going to be different for every card. Of course, a lot of the defenders with shadows were more than 5K above the difference between what their card was selling at buy it now and what their card was selling at with a shadow was more than 5k if that makes sense if you guys are kind of following what i'm going with the telez without a chem style 160 Kellas with telez with a chem style 170 a lot of times some of the informs were it was definitely an increased more than 5k back when the chem styles price range was 5k before they updated it a lot of the cards with the shadows were selling from more than 5k above the lowest buy it now of that card. And I'm really interested to see what becomes of this price range update because technically they're making shadows more available to everybody. So that makes me think on one hand that um, some of these cards will actually, chem style trading might not work as well because there's gonna be more shadow cards on the market and people co can go out and buy that card instead of not as easily being able to find it and snipe it and instead having to go pay more money or a card that already has the chem style applied on the market. So that's why chem styles made us a lot of coins before, just because we thought, okay, these cards are rare, they're extinct. But now that you can go buy a shadow, yeah, you might have to pay 10,000 coins, but you can actually go buy it, it's there. And that's why it was a restricted good before. The, the supply was not enough to meet the demand. And now we have kind of a middle point for the supply and demand. And I honestly don't know if chem style trading will be as affected. And honestly, this is another big GGTEA. If they're trying to stop traders, which we always talk about, it seems like they do some things on the market to try to stop traders to make it harder for us to make coins. Um, this could be something that kind of falls under that line of thought because they might be making it harder for trade for us to trade with these cards, especially because um, the chem style is now available for people to buy so one of the guys that i love the shadow chem style trade whoa lucas hernandez with a shadow 60 i was searching at 60k the next one is 55,000 coins normally i would buy that and list it up right away and try to relist it and make some profit but i'm having second thoughts right now because of this chem style trading method um it looks like the cheapest theo hernandez is okay it was that was one of the cheapest theo hernandez with the shadow card so basically what I'm going to say for this, boys, is if you like the shadow chem style trade, I still think it's going to work because I still think that there's going to be some cards out there that um, there's going to be a price range difference that's smaller than the shadow chem style. So now what you're going to see people doing is say, okay, I want to buy Theo Hernandez. I want to buy him with a shadow. He doesn't need the pace, but he's our example, okay? He's got 95 pace. He doesn't need the pace boost of a shadow, but we're going to use him as our example. Right now, uh, Theo Hernandez is 63000 coins 62,000 coins with a shadow chem style on him without a shadow chem style his inform is selling for 58,000 coins so that difference right there is only a 3,500 coin difference between 58,5 and 62,000 so people are going to now say all right I can go buy his card with a shadow on the market for 62,000 which is only 3,500 coins more than his cheapest card or I can buy his cheapest card and go pay seven eight nine ten k for a shadow card well what's cheaper going and buying the shadow card on the market so this might be something that we have to watch there might be some fluctuations now that we might be able to trade with with um these the differences between how much a shadow chem style card costs and how much the card with the shadow chem style applied to it already costs so that's something to kind of keep in your mind and that might be kind of like a fluctuation trading method thing because on thursdays when people open rewards, let's say that they want to go ahead and buy some player as a defender. Like maybe we'll just go with this, another random example right here. Let's go Scream Otamendi. Yeah, didn't you didn't see that one coming, did you? Scream Otamendi uh, without a chem style right now. 223,000 coins with a shadow chem style. Um, I'm using him because he's one of the most popular center backs in the Prem. 
with a chem style, he's about 236. So he's about 12K more with the chem style on this Otamendi card. Now that kind of makes sense because shadows are about 12,000 coins at the moment right now. So that kind of makes sense that his normal card without a shadow is 12,000 coins less than with a shadow. So that would be a card that we might not want to trade with. But again, like I was looking at that Theo Hernandez, I was looking at Lucas Digne as well. This is another popular card in the Prem. A lot of people like to use with a shadow card. Now this kind of card does need a shadow because of his pace. He's not a very fast card. He's only got 80 pace. And as a left back, you throw a shadow on him, that'll help him out a lot on the wings and on the edge. So 69,000 coins for Digne with a shadow. How much is he without a shadow? Without a shadow, Digne is 60, wow, 67, 66,000 coins. There's only like a 3,000 coin difference here as well between Digne with a shadow and Digne without a shadow. So it's going to be something where we have to kind of watch this over the next couple days. And uh, I'm definitely going to be watching this with you guys to kind of tell, hey, what are people doing? Are people going out and paying the money for these shadow chem styles? Or are they checking to see what's cheaper between the shadow chem style on the card already or going and buying it by itself? Now, I want to look at an attacking option once just to make sure that we have something going on here that is similar as well. Um, I've been looking at informs the whole time, but I'm going to switch over here and look at a gold card. How much is Lucas Mora with a hunter chem style? Looks like he's right around 20k. 22k maybe 20 21,000 coins for lucas mora with a hunter how much is he without a hunter lucas mora is 17k there let's see let's go down to 15 or 14 so he's 21 with a hunter and he is basically 16k without a hunter so he sells for 16 21 with a hunter so that's a 5,000 coin difference so that card hasn't really moved too much yet in terms of the differences but we will see what happens with that. So the Hunters um, and the Shadows are going to be something that we really, really need to watch in the coming days on this game because that's going to be, I mean, that's a popular way that we've traded. I mean, if you look at a lot of the cards, I cleared my transfer list, honestly, but this Fabinho that was right here, I sold it with a chem style um, because I bought this card for 191,000 coins with a Shadow chem style. I mean, you really, you probably want a Shadow chem style on a guy like Fabinho because uh, he needs that pace boost. So let's look at this card again right now with the Shadow Chem style. What is he going for? Because usually he's like 210,000 coins-ish. 200k flat for a CDM Fabinho with um, a Shadow. What about without a Shadow? What's he going for? He's going for any less than 200 with the, without that Shadow. 193 is the cheapest at the moment. 193 is the cheapest at the moment. Wow, that's actually a decent undercut as well. That had a shadow on it, I would definitely buy it. All right, so there's one at 200. Let's see if this sells. And I'm going to see if this, well, the 193 is definitely going to sell. So he's right around 200K, and the shadow is one of the cheapest cards there. So that's just come, something that we're going to have to monitor over the next couple days um, with these chem styles. Is first of all, you might be able to make a lot of coins actually trading with these cards because they're going to get supplied from rewards. Um, if you see these shadow chem styles get down towards like the under 10k range down closer to 5,000 coins You're gonna have to keep an eye on those cards because it looks like right now They're actually selling pretty consistently at 13k But they're gonna get supplied with rewards and then we're gonna have to watch this as well on Black Friday Because Black Friday is going to bring a massive amount of supply to these cards um, From all the packs that are gonna be opened during that time frame uh, what about the Hunters as well? The Hunters, yes. I do expect the Hunters to be cheaper than the Hunters, um, just because for attacking players, you don't always need the pace. A guy like Timo Werner, you need more shot, more pass, more dribble. So you might use like a Sniper or a Deadeye or a Marksman, whereas uh, on defense, a lot of guys need the Shadow. So Hunters are under 10,000 coins. I would expect the Shadows to drop a little bit more, little bit more as well, but this is something we're going to have to watch during Lightning Rounds, of course. Uh, with that, I want to check one other thing position modifier. Are there any of these that got price range updates above 5,000 coins? Uh, some of the expensive ones are like the center mids, right? Center mid to cam, is that expensive? Nah. Cam to CM, that didn't get changed. CDM, no. I'm just checking all these really fast to see if they got upgraded at all in price. So, no, none of the position modifiers got upgraded as well. It was just the shadow and the hunter chemistry styles that got updated. So, again, be careful with the chem style trading. What I would say is if you do if you do a lot of that, maybe still keep doing it, but just watch and see what happens over the next couple of days 
with those cards. If the camp style trading starts to not work as much, we're gonna have to kind of figure out what cards do work and where it works and where it doesn't and kind of figure that out. So we'll be looking at a lot of that, of course, um, over the next couple of days as well. But I wanted to bring you guys this video as soon as possible because this is big news. And a lot of you guys in your club, um, you've bought a lot of these cards at 5,000 coins because you maybe thought there was an update coming or you've had a lot of these cards in your club since the start of the game because uh, you just thought that they were going to get a price rejected at some point. Or you might just have a ton of them from opening a lot of packs. I don't have any in my club, I'll be honest. I, I looked, didn't have any. But if you still have a bunch and you want to take the coins on them for like 10,000 coins, if they still are when you're watching this video, um, you can definitely go ahead and do that because it is nice to get 10,000 coins for a card that was only 5k before. So again, I wish EA would have just update the pack weight, man. I don't feel like we needed um, a price range update on these cards, but it honestly is, is just funny because you can tell it's a, just one of those other things where you can tell that EA is out for their own profits here. The move just makes sense. Upping the price range on that card so people can buy it and spend their coins and lose those coins rather than just upping the pack weight and keeping the prices under 5k. So typical EA, GG's EA for that one, making your money, uh, it makes sense, right? Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I would love to help you guys out with those questions. Quick little disclaimer, I am going to be gone. Um, I'm taking a trip out west over the next couple of days. There will be uploads on the channel, so don't worry. I got you guys covered here, uh, but you won't see as many live streams or you won't see me uh, looking at the actual today content on FIFA over the next couple of days. I have some more like just educational and tutorial based and thought based videos coming over the next couple of days while I'm gone for the weekend. So just wanted to kind of let you guys know about that so that you're in the loop. And uh, I will be back here live with you on Sunday uh, for the Market Outlook video. Um, and that then I'll be plugged in back here um, in the setup, in, in the station, ready to go for that kind of stuff. But again, if you enjoyed the video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Have, ugh, catch you guys later. Peace out.